you don't necessarily have a 3D model to do everything when you're seeing, seeing something. You can do a lot of it in 2D. So if like, and as you can see, the toolpath is wanting to dip into that saddle slot. So, and making a radius slot that goes in pat or a surface to patch that in, uh, it's kind of a pain. So that's why I like to leave these clean versions of this. And then I'll use 2D geometry. Like these holes don't necessarily need to be in 3D. This one doesn't go and dip into the saddle because there's no geometry telling it that it needs to dip into that saddle. If this was a, if this slot was any bigger than an eighth of an inch, say that it was a quarter of an inch, the bit would go all the way to the bottom to this surface on these. And if the bit was, you know, if it was an eighth inch, it would actually go all the way through this because there is no surface preventing it from doing that. Now in your cam, you can give it restraints so that it can't do that, uh, but it is just easier to make sure that you keep yourself a clean model. Um, like in the case of this, this would be what I work from. To cut it out, like I would just have a surface, like I would use this 2D line. So you don't necessarily have a 3D model to do everything when you're seeing, seeing something. You can do a lot of it in 2D. So if I wanted to go and drill out those holes, um, I would not rely off of this. I would actually go in, use axis profiling, and use the cam to set all of those parameters. So.